Hello friends, welcome back in second video tutorial of H3C switch configuration. In first video tutorial, I show you how to create VLAN and how to assign IP addresses to VLAN in H3C switch. Now in this second video tutorial, I will show you how to configure access port in H3C switch, how to configure trunk port, how to permit or allow VLAN on trunk port, how to configure DHCP server and finally I will show you how to exclude IP addresses from DHCP server in H3C switch. So let's start it. First to see the current configuration in this H3C switch we type command display current configuration and enter. Here you can see the switch name is H3C switch 1. Down here you can see the VLAN 100 with name data. And here you can see the interface VLAN 100 IP address. We configured this all in our last video. And down here this is the switch gigabit ports. Now I will show you how to configure access ports in H3C switch. For that first we type command system view and enter and then we type interface gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 1 and enter. To make this port as access port we type command port access VLAN 100 and enter. That's it and this port is now access port for VLAN 100 and exit from here by typing quit and enter. Here we configure just one port as access port but if we have multiple ports then we use range command by typing interface range gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 2 to gigabit ethernet 1 slash 0 slash 6 and enter. Then we type again port access VLAN 100 and enter and type quit for exit. Now for 6 port of this H3C switch is now access port. Now I will show you how to configure trunk port in H3C switch. For that we type command interface gigabit ethernet and here we give the interface number. Like I will use port number 48 as trunk so I type 1 slash 0 slash 48 and enter. Then we type port link type trunk and enter. Now this port number 48 is trunk now. Next I will show you how to permit or allow VLAN on this trunk port. For that we type here port trunk permit VLAN and here if we put question mark it gives two options. Define the specific VLANs that we allow or allow all. I type here all and enter. Now all VLANs will be passed by this trunk port and to exit from here I type quit and enter. Now next I will show you how to create DHCP server in H3C switch. For that first we need to enable or activate this feature in H3C switch by typing command DHCP enable and enter. Then to create a DHCP server we type command DHCP server IP pool and here we have to give the pool name. I am creating this DHCP server for my VLAN 100. I give name VLAN 100 and enter. Then we type command gateway list and here we have to give the VLAN gateway IP address. In my case that is 10.100.0.1 and enter. This is my VLAN 100 IP address. Next we need to provide the full network range. For that we type network 10.100.0.0 and mask is 255.255.255.0 and enter. And finally we need to give the DNS server by typing DNS list 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and enter. 
and exit from here by typing quiet and enter. So like this, we successfully create a DHCP server in H3C switch. Now in last, I will show you how to exclude IP addresses from DHCP server in H3C switch. For that, we type command DHCP server forbidden IP 10.100.0.1 till 10.100.0.100 and enter. By this way, first 100 IP addresses are excluded from DHCP server and will not be assigned automatically. And finally, the most important step is save the configuration. For that, we type command save force and enter. Like this, configuration are saved in H3C switch. Right now, we log in this switch through CLI mode. And in next video, I will show you how to log in in H3C switch via GUI mode or graphical interface mode. To see that, don't forget to watch my next video. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.